What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Athletic Power Podcast. I'm your host, Eric Ramirez, and today I have a very special guest. All right, we're going to be talking about self-doubt, and there's going to be one of many. It's going to be a very entertaining topic because the homie Alex, I'm not trying to give it too, I'm not trying to give too much away, but we've had some really awesome conversations lately. They've been like really cool. Uh, every weekend we go on long runs and I think this one especially that just passed it was really cool you know just talking back and forth and you know that subject came up self-doubt so I'm gonna turn it over to Alex self-doubt I'm gonna let you introduce yourself and we'll go from there well thank you thank you thank you for that um guys I'm the get-go I'm sorry apologize for the sniffles being a little under the weather the last couple of weeks, but, you know, nevertheless, hello guys, again, my name is Alex, I am here from Moreno Valley, uh, been knowing Eric for what, a couple months already? Like two, I think, no? Two months, man, yeah. 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 Two months already, but I think just not in long that enough. Short, yeah, not long enough, but for that short amount of time, like, we've dove into a lot of conversations, you know, a family, lot motivation, work ethic, and we were pumped to, you know, talk about, you know, self-doubt, but... Self-doubt, man. Self-doubt. <laughs> Damn. Where, where do we start? Yeah, exactly. Where do we where start? Where do we start? It's funny because you brought it up on, the on I think this weekend. Like, we're talking about it, right? And it's like... Yeah. Tell me about uh, somebody that you know that, you know, pretty much wanted to do something, but he's like, you know what? I'm too scared. And it's like, dude, I totally... Self doubt is one of those dream killers, you know. Self dream killers. Yep. By yourself, you kill your own dream to start something. Exactly. You know? Yeah, we, we're we're on a long run, and yeah, exactly that. We're discussing. You know, he actually he's been a great influence. I'm not gonna lie, a great influence in you know just going to that next level, and that's the beauty of like I'm a, I'm gonna go back just a little bit. When we first met, we were talking like, you know, we're at the gym. Dude, I don't talk to nobody. And I told him, I don't talk to anybody. I just go in there, put my headphones on. I get my workout and I'm done. You know, there's so many personalities at the gym. You know, there's so people many. that just talk and talk and talk. And it's cool. You know, that's they're at the gym. Hey, you know what? As long as you're not interfering with the machine I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm exactly trying to right. get, you're good, bro. You could... Be at the turf, talking to the girls, talking to the guys. Cool. No Your problem. World. So he came up to me and asked me about uh, the Bebo Barefoot shoes. And I haven't worn them because I had a little injury. So now I'm getting better. But, you know, we, we just hit it off. I'm like, yeah, you know, they work. They're awesome. Blah, blah, blah. Next thing you know, we're talking about running. And, you know, I, I told him, we, we, we talk about this consistently los tiempos de dios son perfectos that's one of the things that you know i've told him because that day i took the day off it was a monday i had to go to a funeral for my cousin may she rest in peace but i i felt under the weather i was just like ah, i want to go to a gym you know i want to feel a little better and that's when i met him you know and you know going towards that you know self-doubt stuff um at first we're like yeah let's hang out, let's, let's go run, you know, we, we matched up, we added numbers, and we're like, damn, like, I think we're like, we're like right there, as far as, um, you know, speed, because that's another thing, finding somebody that is like right there, wh whether it's a couple of notches down, or a, cop a couple of notches up, it is hard, nearly impossible, like how he said, one in a million, and I, I still think about it to this day. Like, we have, like, the same drive. You know, the, our fitness level is, like, boom, right there. But from the get-go, I told him, look, dude, like, there's no ego. You're going to be good, like, within your own space. You know, I'll be good within my own space. But we should work as a team and put all that together to, to contribute to a group. You know, you and me, you're going to have good days. I'm going to have bad days. Vice versa, yeah, and you know, and and these two past months, bro, like you got sick, I had an ankle injury. <laughs> I mean, you know what? It's funny because 
<laughs> it's just making us stronger, you know. It's making us so much stronger. It's so much improvement. How much have we improved since two months? I mean, alone, just training every 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 day, Tuesday through Sunday. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much, you know. And so it's like, I'm excited, man. I was telling you, I'm excited for the future because this is just the beginning, I, just the beginning of something so so big. And like you were saying again, like just. The coincidence is that we found each other. And yeah. I always like to say no homo because I was like, dude, we found each other and we like, you know, just amazing. You know how we gave, we were like, yeah, toe to toe with the splits, mm-hmm. with the running, with the, with the time. And yeah, we, we both had the same drive. We both are like, hey, you want to do something? Let's do it, you know? Same thing with like San Diego. Hey, you want to run a marathon? Or oh, you told me about the marathon and you were like, you want to run? Like, yeah, let's run it. Yeah. Next yeah. day I bought my ticket. I'm like, let's go, man. Let's go. I'm ready. You know? <laughs> And and that's an oh man like there's so many good like sub subject topics about you know what we're talking about but honestly I, we said okay cool let's start running we started running you know okay cool hey uh, there's a San Diego half marathon my coach told me boom I gotta sign up because you know he told me in order to run a full marathon at the pace that we want to. We gotta. We first gotta hit those first half marathons, build up, and then hit that, you know, that that big league, you know, big, that yeah. big league time. We're trying to go in with the bang, you know. It's just like our first one was like hell yeah, and honestly, everything we set ourselves to do, we do it. There's, I haven't met anybody, and I'll be real honest, I haven't met anybody that's lived up to their word like Alex. That He's, makes sense. Like, hey, we're going to meet 5.30 tomorrow. Can you do it? Pfft, hell yeah, bro. Let's go. Vice versa. And yeah, I mean, like I was telling you to the other day, talk is cheap nowadays. Talk is very, very cheap, you know? So I consider myself very lucky to have found you, that you have the same drive, same mentality, same almost similar goals. It's like, dude, come on. What else can you ask for? Let's go. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> Take advantage of this situation, you know? I found somebody with the same drive, same mentality, same intensity. Oh, don't sleep on that. I tell myself, don't sleep on that, man. Yeah, take advantage. Exactly. Take advantage. You know, I've done so many things by myself, and we've had that same conversation this Sunday, actually. Like how you used to go up, wake up at three in the morning, and and go. <laughs> it's funny because I I run on the other side <laughs> of March Air Force Base, and he ran like on the opposite, opposite side. <laughs> And it was funny because when we first started, we were like, oh, the baseball track. I'm like, this is, and I, I, I've been through it like a few times, like, but like on the other side, it's like, like, there's nobody, bro, that like, you could go hit like this, this whole little curve. Like we have our own like numbers, like this is a half a mile. And then you go the other way. It's like another half a mile. And then you could just fucking straight gun it, you know? <laughs> and I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be honest. At first I'm like, oh, man. it's because you're so used to your side, you know? Yeah. So I was used to my side. I'm like, man. That's fine. Let's try, let's try your side, you know. No big deal. Now I actually like that <laughs> side. It's, it's like, you know, that's a spot now. Yeah. That's a spot. Let's highlight a little bit of San Diego. San Diego, man. Where do we start? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll let you lead that one because, it, bro, it was your first race. He, he never done anything. And this was his first race, and I wanted it to be special for him because I'm like, I remember my first time. I felt butterflies. I was nervous. I was just like, oh, damn, I'm actually going to do this. Like, I signed up, and I paid money for this, and I'm actually going to do this? But you brought your family, so it's, like, completely different. Yeah, it was completely different. I mean, like I said, where, where do I start? But the experience itself, it was incredible from start to finish, you know? From getting there on Saturday, checking into the hotel, prepping as far as like car started, car loading, um, it was just amazing, amazing experience. Highly recommend if you never run a marathon, half marathon, highly highly recommend to do it, at least once in a lifetime. You know, yeah, yeah something yeah. that you have to experience because it is you're competing against yourself. It's a different sport when you when you when you run when you're a runner, you're competing against. You, mm-hmm. you know, there's a few runners that, that race to beat other you know, elite runners that are there to beat other runners. Yeah. But for the most part, I think 90, 99%, 98% of runners are running to, com- to compete against them, 
to be better than they were yesterday. And I think that was my case. I uh-huh. don't know your case, but in my case, that was me, you know. I started running uh, about a, a year ago, a year and four months ago, just to feel better about myself, feel better about my health, feel better about my self-esteem. Uh, but it was just to run, just to run. And I told you, I, I was just running laps. I was doing 10Ks every morning, 10K, 10K. I was taking Wednesdays off. Other than that, pretty much every morning I was running. When I met you and we started talking about marathons, I was like, yeah, let's do it. So San Diego, going back to San Diego, I'm sorry, that, that experience was amazing. From the start to the finish line, especially the finish line, come on. I mean, that, that, that feeling, having, having the support of my family there, uh, just crossing the finish line alone, it's like, wow, you know? Hell yeah. None wow. other than San Diego. I mean, beautiful. And you know what? Going back to uh, on today's subject, I had self doubt on Saturday. So, you know, I told you on Saturday I felt nervous. I like, man, I can I actually do this? Can I run this half marathon tomorrow? You know, I was worried about if can I do it, and, and I didn't want to let you down too. You know, because uh-huh. you have put in time. You no, know, the last month running with me, training with me, sharing your coaches. Uh, training program, so it's like, man, I didn't want to let you down. I didn't want to let myself down. So I did, I did, I did feel self doubt, and th- I think that is okay to feel self doubt. Uh-huh. I don't think there's nothing wrong with it, but you know, at the end of the day, we have to jump. You know, like I said, you, we're gonna feel that doubt. And, you know, that's okay. We have feelings. We all feel something. Uh huh. You know, but we jump. We we don't think about it. We jump and we execute. We we we, we go after it. You know. So how was that process for you to overcome that? Like when you felt it? When I felt that? Yeah, that felt when you... Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I told you that that, 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 that moment, that, that morning, I couldn't sleep. You know, Saturday, I couldn't sleep. So I woke up and I'm like, you know what? I hit the treadmill. I went to the gym. And I wasn't supposed to run. My coach, because I consider him my coach, you know, but Eric told me, don't run to tomorrow's. What you call it? A uh, rest day. Rest day, pretty yeah. much. Don't do anything. Just carb load. Okay, copy that. No day. No, on Saturday I felt I I I, I felt nervous. So, you know, I went to the gym, jump on the treadmill, and that's how I dealt with it. You know, I let me go for a quick run. You know, I was only thinking of doing a couple miles, a couple miles, and then to doing seven, <laughs> sixty minutes. I'm like, wow, you know. So that's why <laughs> the next morning on Sunday when I got to the to the to the spot, uh-huh. it's like I had told you that everything I messed up. What'd you do? I, I freaking ran last night. And um, that's how I dealt with it. You know, I felt yeah. nervous, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, okay, it's going to happen. Whether you feel nervous or not, you're going to do it. You know, it has to be done. Yeah, exactly. You've been committed to it. You're going to do it. You know. Por las buenas o por las malas. Por las buenas, <laughs> por las malas, it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, but as soon as, as soon as, I crossed that start line, all doubt went away. All doubt. I, I, I just, let's go. I got this, you know. And then, of course, having having you right next to me, toe to toe, I'm like, we got this, man. Bro. We're a team. Hell yeah. And, you know, I'm I'm a little bummed, but that that's the price you pay. You know, when you have that mentality, you're willing to do whatever it takes to run faster, be stronger. You know, I was wearing, I haven't even worn them till this day, the Bevo barefoot, but I, I got bruised up. And I was, talk, I was talking to my massage therapist. He's like, did you bruise it or what happened? I'm like, you know what? You might be right. I probably did bruise it. You know, it's like, I don't feel that I, I probably detached a ligament or something. Like, I could still move it, but after a certain angle it hurts you know and it's still that a little uncomforting like right now like i i gotta send him a message i'm dude i feel so much better because he put that that little cupping thing on my ankle okay and it's been popping and it's feeling like oh okay cool i could go all 360 not even worry about anything but that race it was bothering me pretty bad but i was just like i i I gotta go through like i've gone this far i was like I can't let you down. <laughs> and I told him, I'm like, bro, like, my ankle is, like, it's messed up, you know? And I went, w- we've been going hard, like, going up the mountain. And it's only going to get harder. But 
in, in not in that sense. We're just gonna dial. We're just gonna keep dialing it up. You yeah. know, we're talking about hills because we got San Francisco ahead of us. But uh, going back to San Diego, I was just like, I don't want to put too much pressure. But I, I, dude, I went for it. I was just like, fuck it. It's like I'm just gonna go. I was like, who cares? I don't. I'm here. I, I can't. I can't let my homie down. You know. And uh, I, I told him. I told him. I'm like, bro, if you feel good. Step on the gas, bro. Leave me behind, bro. This is your show. You go for it. You go. And towards the end, he's like, boom, took off. When, once you cross that finish line, it's just like, oh, shit. You know, people are clapping at you. People face bump you like, hey, I saw you. I said, good job. You're like, oh, shit. Yeah. Like, it feels so nice having that empowerment with people, you know, cheering you on. Being around that energy, just the positive energy itself. I mean, you can feel it. You can feel it so much. Yeah. And, oh, and then, uh, so when we were together, you know, we, we were all boom, head on. We had a bunch of people around us. And we saw that guy, you know, holding one of the San Diego crew members. You know, he was blind. Oh, yeah, yeah. That tripped me out because I was like, why is he holding his arm? Like, what's going on? And then I realized, like, oh, that homie's blind. And then I tapped him. I'm like, hey, dude, look. I was like, damn, talk about like having like no fear, like no limits, you know, self doubt where? Not there. Yeah, exactly. There was no self doubt there. there, no self-doubt there. <laughs> and I, for me, that was beautiful because we saw people on wheelchairs too. Yeah. Some guys going fast. I was like, all right, homie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah game on you know like being grateful in that for me like that that in that perspective like being grateful for what we got what we've been what, what, what we've been able to accomplish but what we're going to accomplish you know yeah and you know circling back to that self doubt, I was like damn that guy's got no chill no chill man he's like he can't see but he's like just gotta hold somebody and I'm, I'm going yeah I mean and Think about it. Sometimes we can't see a clear picture in life. Why are we doing this? Why is it that I'm in front of this path? You know, but who knows? Sometimes you just got to go for it. You know? Of course, nothing dumb. Nothing if it's something, something that's going to put you in danger or against the law, breaking the law, then I mean, it makes sense. Don't do it. But if it's something that it crosses your path for a reason, like an opportunity, mm. jump on it. Jump on it, man. Because... You never know, man. Yeah. You never know what door what door is going to open for you. You know? Exactly. Yeah, and that's a great point, you know? You know, what door is going to open for you? And it's that scarcity, you know? Yeah. It's like, for me, it's just like, I transitioned over to this. But if I didn't, I would have never met you. Yeah. You know? If I didn't choose to run, you know? Like, there's so many things I, for me, myself, I think about. But my heart told me, I'm like, you just got to go, bro. You got to create a new chapter for yourself. It's going to be dark. It's going to be scary. Like, taking that leap, I'm like, oh, fuck, what's going to happen next? You know? That fear. Like, the self-doubt. Like, oh, fuck. Like, am I going to be able to, like, overcome this, you know? And that's how I felt. You know, t having to talk about, like, the situation of, you know, having to, like, progress and keep, you know. And we come across self-doubt every day, multiple times. A good example, again, going back to the day we met. I told you, I've, it's rare for me to approach somebody at the gym and talk to somebody. But I saw the shoes you were wearing. And I told you, I, I, have, I have been checking them out because they were popping out a lot on my, on my social media. So I'm like, man, should I ask him? Should I not ask him? Because I, I, I was in the sink. You were in the back. I was in the sink and I could see your shoes. Should I ask him? But right there, the self doubt, you know, like you shouldn't uh, be like, just ask him, you know, what do you have to lose? Ask him. And I was self doubting myself. But luckily, thank God, I'm like, let me ask him. And before I was walking out, I'm like, hey, those shoes, you know, do, do you like them? Are they worth the, you know, their money? Because they're pretty, you gotta pay a pretty penny for those shoes. Yeah. But look where it led me. Look where I'm at right now. Because of that one question, the one simple question, which was about some shoes, nothing to do with less run, less, yeah, less, yeah, nothing, 
not in not in a thousand years I would imagine we would have we were gonna make a, a friendship out of that one simple question. That if I would have let self doubt win, you would have left without a word. Without a word. You know, and what are the chances we would have came across each other again? And you know, Ex- exact because you have a difference. Ca- I have, I w- yeah. We would have never crossed because I go right now. You know, yeah. or a little later. My schedules are different. So. Yeah, you go early. I mean, I'm working at that time. So that's why it's like self doubt. It happens all the time. Happens on a daily basis. You just have to do it, man. Don't overthink it. At least that's my mentality. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, I'm already a very positive person. I hardly think, you know, be negative about the situation, about my day. So, when an opportunity presents itself, I kind of already, like, you know, I'm already on the, on, on, on the go, like, yes, you know, I'm open-minded. Mm-hmm. Very open-minded, very coachable, mm-hmm. you know? So I think that that helps me a lot too, you know, in, in situations like that. You know, where do you think you get that from? I don't. I I think that's something that I, over time, uh, okay. I, I I I learn. Uh, because I was never always like that, you know, especially when when I was younger. Uh, but it's something that you learn with over time. I think just by by the situation, the past, your past life, uh, how you've been, the decisions you make. You start I start analyzing the work. Before I was this way, and now that I'm more open minded to things, things are turning out better. Huh. Well, you know. What are some of the biggest things you you noticed? I mean, through time, the the benefits of presenting yourself in that perspective, with a positive attitude. You know, because day to day life happens. You know. Yeah. And there's so many people, dude. I've noticed it more now than before. Like people are like, they're not there, you know, or they're not. Yeah, they they just kind of go with like, oh, you know, it's life type of thing, you know, and 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 it's true, bro. You let you left me thinking about like when we go to environments, like having bringing a certain energy to 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 an environment, whether mm-hmm. it's whatever it is, a party or you know, a gathering, mm-hmm. and you're right. People sense that, you know? Yeah. And h- how has that helped you in, on your field and what you do and stuff? In my situations, in my business, in my life, because I think I'm a very positive person. I'm already very positive. I'm always thinking positive. I wake up in the morning, hey, today I'm going to have a good day. I tell myself, today's going to be a good day, you know? I get in the truck, start driving, today's going to be an amazing day, you know? And not only that, but I kind of also plan my day ahead of time. So the night before, I already know what I'm going to do the next day. Like today, I already kind of know what, what I'm doing in the morning. What I'm going to be doing tomorrow at 6 in the morning, at 7 in the morning, you know. Um, so all those little things have helped me out, you know, like just be more positive over, you know, in, in everything I do. You know, I just. Wow. Yeah. That's actually quite inspiring. How uh, you said, like, oh, I'm going to wake up or I wake up and say, oh, it's going to be a good day. Yeah. Always. Always, always, always. Buddy, Paca. Hey, and Paca. Over there. Yeah. Over there. Yeah. Go. What he needs. Chill, he man. needs his own mic. Yeah, he needs his own mic. <laughs> Woody, yeah. Paca. Over there. Go. Over there. Come on. Oh, yeah. Go. Yes, go. 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 Chilling. Go. How about you, man? What, what? <clears throat> you know, I don't, for some reason, when you say, oh, it's going to be a good day, I think about a song. I don't know why. It's like, oh. It's like, you don't do that in the mornings? Uh, w- when I wake up, I, I wake up with gratitude. Okay. Like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I made it today. Because one of the things that have impacted me for the rest of my life, well, in, in two occasions, I think I told you, but uh, my grandma passed away in her sleep. And... You know, my cousin just recently passed. She passed away in her sleep. Mm-hmm. So when I wake up, I'm like, I'm glad I made it. I'm grateful. You know? Cool. Let's let's freaking go. And that's that's kind of my my approach. I'm like, all right, let's go. Let's do this. You know, like I'm gonna I'm at the start line of the day. Boom, you know, I, I'm a, I've already showed up. Do you do you say it out loud? Cause like I say it out loud, not yeah. out loud, but I, I speak it. 
you know, to go. I don't think it either. Like, so I'm gonna tell you, my 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 morning every time my days are pretty much the same in the mornings. When I wake up, I get up from bed, I stretch, and as I'm stretching, that's when I ah oh, today is gonna be a good day. Sometimes I say great day, stretch. First thing I do, second thing I do, I use the bathroom, do my business. Third thing I do, my push-ups. Man, the push-ups. 50 push-ups every day before I wake up. Sorry, when I wake up and before I go to bed. That is man, though. That is every day, no matter what. So that's what I'm saying. Like you, sometimes you got to speak that out loud to the uh-huh. viewers, you know? Yeah. Let it be heard, you know? like, like Three tips right there, guys. And, and Hey, it could work for you. Take what you need. Take as you please. Three steps right there. Chat mindset. And it worked. And and and, and if something bad happens throughout the day, like you had a flat tire, uh, one of your employees didn't show up to work, you're still thinking it's gonna be a good day because now I have now I get to go to the gym at, at five or now I get to go to my house and have supper with my family and my little girls. So you already had that it's gonna be a good day mentality. So if something happens or no in the day mm-hmm. you're still with that mentality it's gonna be a good day a, a, a flat tire that you got stuck in the side of the road it's not gonna it's not gonna affect you affect affect you no know, it's not gonna affect me you already had that mentality that you know, it's gonna be a good day chat mindset right there you know what I'm so, yeah. damn that's that's inspiring uh, at least at least for me it would be um i i won't say it out loud i would mm-hmm. say it in my mind because I'm very, I, I'm very spiritual. Mm-hmm. Like I, 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 I channel it in. I, I'll close my eyes and I'll, I'll say, I'll say thank you. But I'll sometimes, I'll, I'll have my eyes open. I'm like, cool, thank you. You know, because I, I, for me, I feel there's you could communicate something internal that you, even with your eyes closed, you can't see. Mm-hmm. But like, there's still something there that you're talking to, even mm-hmm. though it never talks back to you. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, that's I'll be like, all right, cool, I made it. Hell yeah! And then I, I'll pet with you. That's it's tip number one right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that, that's the truth, though. <laughs> uh, uh, Woody will be up already, or Woody will be like, he'll do that. And I'm like, oh, I'm up, bro. And then he'll start stretching, and I'll pet him. I was like, all right, we, we well made it, bro. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll get up, and then I'll go to the restroom. I mean, first thing is a cold shower. <laughs> Straight. <laughs> Straight to the suffering. I mean, <clears throat> for me, it, it's like doing how, I mean, what's the worst? Uh, starting your day with a cold shower or run. How worse can it get, you know? And some people will be like, oh, run in the morning. Yeah, run in the morning. We got to do what we got to do yeah. for a cold shower. And then after that, I'll be like, all right, cool. Yeah. I'm good. I, I don't do no push-ups, so I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not at that level, but. I'll go straight to. But it's the same. It's the same. Like, who wants to get in the cold shower at six in the morning? Why not? You're like, hell no! I don't want. I don't want. That. You think I want to do push-ups, especially at night? In the morning, it's easy because you wake up, you're, you're fresh. But at night, sometimes before, like, say, I do my push-ups right before I go to bed. So if I'm laying in bed watching Netflix, watching mm-hmm. YouTube, and I'm about to turn the TV off, the first thing I do, turn the TV off and do my push-ups before I close my eyes. You think I really want to do the push-ups sometimes? 90, 85% of the chances are like, oh, I don't know, I don't want to push up, man. But it has to get done, man. It has to get done. If you know? not you, then who? I mean, somebody else, yes, of course, but like the goals that we have? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, being in, uncomfortable in those. In, in those and, and you could pick anything. Like, some people would be like, 50 push ups, I'll do that. I'll do that. It's not about the 50, it's not about the, the cold showers. It could be something so small as I get up and go water my plants. I get up and go, go anything. It could be something small. It's just something that you have to you know, put discipline in life. Discipline yourself. You know? And the, all that stuff, especially when you have discipline, it starts stacking up more positive things in life. You know? And I think going back to your question, I think that's how I've been able to you know, get better with my positive mentality improving my situations making my creating my situations living my day you know i don't live i don't let the day live me i live my day 
All right, we could stop right there. <laughs> that, no, uh, no. that that already is a great podcast, a great punchline at the end. Honestly, bro, that that's I mean, freaking. Yeah, dude, you, you, you got such a valid point. Applying discipline, you know, one last thing. It's like that whole Jocko video, right? Uh-huh. It's like, you know, pe- I know there for me, I know there's a lot of you guys that rely on, on my on my posts, on my motivational stuff and everything. Uh, but I feel the most important thing is the discipline part, you know, uh, how he said applying something as small as watering your plants. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You don't need to do the cold showers, the push ups, like just as long as you're able to commit to something day to day, day to day, day to day. Boom, 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 boom. And I think no, I don't think. That will set you up to overcome that self-doubt because you've applied a type of discipline, you know, like for us, like the running, waking up early, the cold showers, the push-ups, everything. Okay, what's, what's the next challenge? Done. Cool. We got that. Or let's do a little bit of homework. <laughs> you know, we got San Francisco. All right, let's study San Francisco. Oh, damn, it's got uh, steep hills. Cool. Noted. All right, let's work on that. Let's go over here. Let's go over there. You know, let's do these workouts. That and the self doubt of I don't think I could do this because that's what happened. That's what happened to me in San Francisco. Like I didn't even look at the the hit. I just showed up. I'm like San Francisco. Yeah, oh, wow. <laughs> I literally I just showed up. I'm, like, I'm fucking stoked. Damn, I'm gonna see the bridge. Blah blah. blah. I was like oh, over there. Like San Francisco is freaking beautiful. Oh, cool. S- second mile in. Oh, what the fuck? I was like, damn, okay. This is a nice little hill up here. Literally, more than half the race is uphill. I mean, you got your your slopes going down, but that's all I can remember. I was like, I don't think I'm going to finish this. Like, I ain't prepared for this. I just showed up. <laughs> I was like, wow. I'm not ready for this shit. That self doubt was at level ten, bro. Like all the all the way up to the roof, bro. It's just like I should just fucking stop, take a break. But when you're when you're at a race, you're like, hell no, you can't stop because th- that would be a chip in shoulder, dude. I, you asked me like, what do you want to do, in San Francisco? And I told him like, I would chip on my shoulder, bro, for those hills. I would have had a bigger chip on my shoulders if I would have stopped. But I said it on the video. I'm fucking happy I didn't stop. And that's the biggest pride you could take home. I'm like, I didn't fucking stop. But that shit fucking killed me, you know? But you, you, I was killing that self-doubt as I kept going. I'm like, you got to stop, bro. You're going to just keep going. Like, no, stop right here. Stop right here. Your legs are burning. Take a little break. Like, there's people walking right next to you. Like, join them. Nah, there's people running too. Run with these fucking dudes, you know? (laughs) You know how many people, I still, I'm still waiting for them to call me, that they want to run with me? <laughs> I check my phone every day, see if it's, see if it's not if it's not working, because it don't ring, man. It don't ring, man, but they say they want to run. They say, they, they say that I'm down. And, and, and that's like that, when we met too, you know, I was like, I had self-doubt, like, this guy, he's not going to run with me. He's probably, you know, it's normal to have self-doubt, you know? You doubt about every, everything, you know, about situations about the day was it gonna rain tomorrow i'm a roofer so right now i'm self that is hey should i cover this house should i don't <laughs> <laughs> you're right because on the other side i was just like this on me no. he said he's gonna run all right let's go hey now we're here <laughs> now we're here man <laughs> yeah all right well that's it for today ladies and gentlemen great 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 I mean, first of many, you know, topics. We we hit a lot of great valid points, and you know, more than anything, it's just to empower you. Um, you know, these conversations could help you some way, some form, or looking at things in a very different way. My biggest takeaway today is watering plants. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one because I, for me, personally. I think of things like to the next level all the time, like Jocko, like fucking taking to the next level. Like I'll, I'll get like that to myself though. Uh-huh. 
like that whole wording like a yeah. brutal brutal wording to myself like yeah. i don't you don't really hear me talking like that but i'll take things like that like as far as i can but he literally pulled me back or something like oh just watering plants start with that oh shit you're right <laughs> okay. you're right and I think that's the biggest thing because you think you need to do all these things and, and you really, truly don't. You just got to start with one little step. You know, I'm sure a lot more topics to talk about because we got so many runs that we're always, oh, let's talk about this. Let's talk about that. And we finally, how we said, how we've been saying, like, oh, we should do a podcast. Oh, yeah, let's do a podcast. All right, cool. When? Monday. All right. <laughs> it's Monday. There we go. And we did it. So. I, I got to applaud you. I got to applaud yeah. myself and Woody for being here, too. Well, thank you for having me, man. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, thank you. First pop, first podcast, so I'm, I'm excited. So. Hell yeah. There you go. One of many. One of many one great man. conversations. So yes, that's it for today. Catch you guys on the next one. Please. Yeah, we're done, bro. Oh, bro. Yeah. What is Let's go for a run, man. Yeah, for real. Uh, I'm sorry, bro. It's a good day out. <laughs>